Made kind of a thing right now, but game number one, series number one of the Mina weekend for EWC Community Cup featuring Rocket League is officially begun. Bravado and Vision. This should be a good one. Like we said before, I know we've been hitting you guys with the Yap Fest, but <laughs> it is going to be, I think, probably a very good series. I think, uh, Herc, uh, just to re-say, who did you have here? You had Bravado 3-1? I three, one. had Bravado 3-1. Although, I will say, in my gut, I wanted to say Game 5. So when the both of y'all said Game 5, I was like, all right, I think <laughs> I think I might know where this is going to end up. <laughs> well, you never know. We'll see how it all turns out. And, you know, again, my expectation here is that this one should be decently close. This is the guy to watch on Bravado's side. In my opinion, Nader already getting an opportunity off the crossbar just high. But for Bra Bravado Gaming, he's certainly been the one with the most output offensively. And you, you talked a little bit uh, about ops as well, because I was trying to figure out who on the side of Vision Esports, right, was really going to be that initial striker. And I've already seen a few shots come out of ops as well. That's who you had your eyes on a little bit there. And you already see the attempt to, to kind of feed the ball. But early stages of game one, or at least that first minute, as far as it's concerned, has really been a lot of pressure for Bravado, just holding Vision back. Even if a lot of the shots are a little bit slower, they're at least in control of being able to take the wide shots even and just Forcing, forcing Vision back into their own half. That's important. That overwhelming offense is so key to a lot of teams. And when you look at a team like Falcons, who is kind of the you know pinnacle of this region, they are just an overwhelming force in the middle third of the field and the final third. Their, their defense is an incredibly aggressive offense. And you, you've seen that in international competition. And that has caught off guard many teams around the world. And Mina certainly uh, the Mina teams outside of Falcons have certainly tried to emulate that type of play style, and it has paid off tremendously. And it's why this region is so much fun to watch, is because they are just so gosh darn aggressive. Yeah, it is. A, it is an exhausting thing to have to play against a, a team that is taking what feels like a million shots at you, right? And you're just having to defend everything and hope to to catch a little bit of a break there. And right now, Vision forcing their own break on this one, working together to get past that midfield line. Short lived. For now, Nader trying to go low. It works. It's a wide shot off of this one, but follow up on target. Third time's the charm. Not quite pulling through on this one, but Bravado doing a great job, like you said, just having that extremely aggressive and consistent offense just wearing down Vision Esports. And this is fine from Vision. I mean, obviously, you don't want to give up this much possession and this much, much space over to Bravado, but Vision's able to break out a couple times and take be a light shot there from Nush, but still they're getting in the face of Bravado when needed, at least at the last moment. And Bravado has just hold that or has held that midfield line. It's been so tough for Vision to keep possession halfway through the field. And Bravado, they've had so much space to play with. And here comes Twiz now over Nader. Can he flick this one on towards the net? Off the <laughs> backboard and unfortunately couldn't put it on target. It was too high. And Bravado, maybe their best look run to the wayside. Oh man, I mean, and it was a good plan too. You saw the double demo come out first before the shot. It just, it, that ball just really got away from him. But now double demos coming on the flip side of things. Vision trying to use that to their advantage, but it's not wow. enough to stop Vampers. This one all the way from one end of the field to the other, he popped it up to the sidewall and just, he really just created enough space for him to take that shot and found his way on in. Doesn't have to be incredibly fancy mm -hmm. from Bravado. It just has to work. And when you go back post like that, it's tough for teams to get back to it, especially if you attack so quickly. And finally, after so much attack, so much possession from Bravado Gaming, they're able to break through and they find their first. Oh, man. oh I really thought second was coming through. There is second. I, I felt it in my gut. I knew as soon as I talked, Somebody's gonna go in. These these sidewall attempts though to each other, but more importantly, these follow-ups, how quickly they're starting to come in. It's starting to get a little bit much for Vision Esports right now. You see them not, nece not necessarily scrambling on defense to try and get things back in order. It's just more bravado outpacing them, being able to kind of get things back and aligned, but a minute 24 on the clock for now. Bravado up 2-0, no response. This is gonna be one of the first attempts from Vision Esports. And again, a lot of these attempts very, very short-lived with these challenges coming from Bravado. I think Vision, this is maybe their longest time they've spent on the Bravado side. And they had 
Bravado in the blender there for just a second. They got some demos coming out, and even then, Bravado, even though they all kind of got lined up and stuck on top of each other, they still made the, the block and were able to kind of push out together. And now they're back on Vision's side, and time's running out for Vision. They need to put something together. Ops with no boost has to come down and finds the back wall, but unfortunately too low in for Bravado Gaming again haven't really been tested defensively. There hasn't been a big shot or a big moment coming out from Vision. And with a two-goal lead, Bravado looking to coast in the last 30 seconds. Yeah, definitely. I think coasting is the right word on the, what these, this last 25 is going to look like. Another attempt at an infield, but yeah, like you said, haven't really been tested too, too much on defense. There's a solid shot from Nader. That's the one that you said to look out for a little bit, and it's for great reasoning. Even off that, it's a solid read. Because that, that's a difficult shot to read. It bounced off of someone's car as far as Vision was concerned. And I just, you know what? Do your thing. You got 19 left on the clock. You just ride You just ride the wave at that point. Yeah, that is a do your thing moment right there. Because it was a double commit from Twiz as well. So they needed to score that. That one looks good only because it went in. If it hadn't have gone in, we would be talking about the double commit. Yep. And in the end, <laughs> it's, it's a 3-0 lead for Bravado. For Bravado and, and they're looking quite good here at... Uh, I think the expectation certainly is that they'll they'll probably win this series and with the way they've started in game one uh, It is a, a fantastic start for them. Yeah, this is a, a really great start if you're bravado gaming again You want to come in players have notoriously said is as a game for them to kind of figure out what what the opposition is really like No matter how many times you play a team you have to understand who they are on that day Mm -hmm. Well, now Vision knows. They know what they're going up against with from Bravado, and certainly that overwhelming offense was a lot for Vision in Game 1. We'll see if they can make any changes. And they did have moments. There, there were times where Vision Esports uh, looked like they had some sort of a game plan to slow them down at work. There was the one time we saw the double demo, and that gave them a shot opportunity. So I'm sure that headed into this game, too, they're aware that you're going to have to do something fairly significant to, to you know, slow them down at the midfield line, hold them back a little bit, because the catches you see at mid are, are so consistent from Bravado. This is one of the, the longer clears that get followed up into a shot. That's a better opportunity. It's great save. Nush has the opportunity, though, to clean up. He does envision eSports. He's first on the board in game two. Yeah, it's a great dunk in the corner. And then, uh, again, two players from Bravado kind of playing the same ball there. And then they're just in a horrible position to make a play. Vision, great work to capitalize on the issues defensively from, from Bravado. And Vision, despite being shut out in game 1-3-0, they start off strong here in game two, and that's the start they want. That is not the response they wanted to see from Bravado as they answer back immediately off the kickoff. Oh, I love this play so much. It's solid communication because you saw Vampers already lurking, but Unfortunately for Ops, he thought a second touch on that would have bounced fast enough to make a clear. Unfortunately for him, that lurked just a little bit too strong. Quick response there, tied game. They're trying to already take that lead back as they did in game number one. Vision Esports, other plans. Double commit off the backboard to make a save, but honestly, having the security to make sure this one stays out is not a bad thing. And for Bravado, I mean, this is going to be a, a different type of game. Vision certainly <laughs> look a little bit more up to, to scuff here as Bravado, they do get the response, which is very important as a huge opportunity for Nush is denied by the last man. And Vision looking a lot more confident in the ball is going to prove to be a little bit more difficult for Bravado. They're not going to have the same amount of space and time as Vision gave them in game one. No, they, they definitely won't. Again, it's a it's a lot more matched energy in this game number two. Uh, and to be fair, like I know a lot of people like to say like, oh, like it's, it's late in the day. They, they've had all day to warm up. I'm sure scrims went down in, in preparation for this to be able to do what they're doing. But this is what I was expecting from Vision. I, I expected a, a lot more faster paced game number two. I, what I didn't expect was Bravado to, to not to be so caught off guard a little bit, right? Not in a, a bad way by any means, but right now Vision outpacing Bravado Gaming, taking back that lead op, straight save over to the backboard on this one, but again, very, very early stages of game number two. Yeah, still early here, but I think for Bravado, you know, just looking at this from an outside perspective, obviously, this is not the same game that we saw in game one. Vision Esports are all over Bravado Gaming at the moment. 
Demos are certainly coming out, but I think it's just the attack. Every single time you see Vision with opportunity, there seems to be no Bravado Gaming Defender in a, in a, in a good spot to make a play. And you got to give credit over to Vision. Not only are they creating good chances, but they're also using the physicality of the game to open up that space as well. And Bravado Gaming falling behind here by two with three minutes left to play. I mean, it's not it's not a bad game to or response by any means. But yeah, you said it best. Any opportunity they've had or created for themselves has definitely been met with a, you know, decent success in this game number two right now. Bravado just trying to catch up, and they almost do. It's a solid save out of this one, but quick counter. And that's what you want if you're Vision Esports. That was pretty much what was lacking in that game number one, was not just the clears to get out of your own half, but the follow-ups to turn them into actual plays and opportunities to keep things going. In the second half of the game here, pretty much just Bravado, slowing things down, letting everyone get their boost. Nader is going to be the one to carry it out. One of the better moments we've seen from them. Reset over one, around the corner, tries to make an infield, but no follow. And obviously, entries in for Dr. Known here for Vision Esports, and that certainly is going to change uh, the way this team will operate. And I think, you know, we might have saw that in game number one, which might explain why game one went so poorly for Vision. They certainly got their act together now even without Dr. Known, and entry's been so good so far as well. Shot from Nush is light, but it's bouncing to the far post. Entry trying to get a part of it, a piece of it as well. With a two-goal lead, Vision smart not to overcommit here. And Bravado Gaming, they're in the same position that Vision was in the last game. Time's ticking down. You really haven't generated too many opportunities. And you're leaving a lot left on the table for your chances. As Nader, you're looking towards him to maybe make something happen. This one dangerous, dangerously drops down but Ops there to clear it away. Oh, that's a great follow-up on his challenge. Not enough boost to turn it into a double or anything like that, but again, Vision Esports have done such a solid job of just constantly taking one shot after the other, wearing down Bravado the same way they got worn down in game number one. You've got just one minute left to go. You're still down by two if you're Bravado gaming, which is not a position you want to be in. One of the better attempts at a pass and play to get towards that net, but still a slow shot. Envision Esports pretty much in a flow state at this point against Bravado Gaming. They, they don't have to do or try too hard because there's not much to slow them down. And Bravado went from in control, calm, to completely chaotic and torn apart, spread out here in this game too. A good opportunity here, but a massive save. Ops is going to get it out, and my goodness, Bravado can't break through, and maybe their second best attempt that they had outside of scoring. They still couldn't put it away. Now Nader trying to play that one slow, but entries then have none of it. As this one will probably end in Vision Esports' favor, and for good reason. Their offense was on a different level compared to game number one, and certainly looked the better team here in game two. They definitely did. This was a very, very clean game from Vision. It was a great response to the initial tuning in. And I don't know, the, the, the end of that game number two didn't give me much hope for Bravado Gaming, but like you said, there, there is a world where they're able to, you know, come back and respond. The, the question is, are you able to do it? And Nader's gonna be the first one to try and send this one up field. Quick stop in his tracks though. Bravado gets sent racing back into their own half. Ops just stopping this one in the mid, carrying it all the way through. Pass, pass one towards net. But there you have it. Vision Esports coming in with the same energy that they had in game two. And that's a scary proposition for Bravado Gaming. As I think Bravado, or uh, yeah, for Bravado, they just need to calm down again. I do feel like they are just so chaotic. It feels like they're so discombobulated from defense to offense. The transition has never been clean from game two on. And even in opportunities like this, like sure, you get a shot here, but you really never had full possession of the game. There's certainly no control over the game state. And now you give the ball right back to Vision, who have been so much better offensively. They've been cutting across the field just like that from entry to slow down Bravado. And yet Bravado having an opportunity here. Top shelf for Twiz and Bravado very carefully carried this one down the field. It took a couple challenges, but they find the back of the net. 
This is really just an example of pushing through, but those follow-ups, that follow-up from Twiz coming in so quickly really turned that opportunity into something possible. And that's what was missing in game number two. They felt a lot slower on their follow-ups in comparison to the game number one. That right there looked a lot better and this equally the same the bump play and the follow through to give bravado up 2-0 yeah this is smart from twiz you leave the ball rotate through the defense as we always say and if there's the last man you get just a piece of them you'll open up the goal for your teammate the follow-up nader is the better for it 2-0 for bravado gaming and a great setup there i mean this is a great response i i was a little questionable if they were going to be able to kind of you know get things back on track, but honestly, having having the patience uh, with your shots uh, to follow them up, but even that initial shot, being a little bit slower, more methodical with it, gives you significantly better chances at being able to make it through, and right now, Vision Esports playing way more defense than they would like to, and getting caught out a couple of times here. Nader getting demoed for his efforts on that initial shot, double demos to start sending everyone home, and finally, Vision Esports can get out of their half, but again, it's these very, very short-lived moments that turn into these very quick counters for Bravado. And Bravado has been spectacular. I mean, this could be a 3-0 game at least with the way it's been played, but a great little bump from entry, and look at this, Vision back on the board, and with 2.47 left in the game, plenty of time, and a great pickup from entry from that pass from Ops, and Twiz stood no chance, the air dribble bump, not much you can do as the last man. And when it happens so quickly, Bravado just didn't have time to react. No, they, they did not. That was honestly such a great play as well. And then you just got to get right back into the swing of things. Nader catching this one, trying to slow it down with a reset there, but no follow up in sight. It's a little bit slower on this one. The back off, let's ops. Have a moment, no second touch on it, thankfully. Teammate was there to bail him out and keep this one going forward. Pinch off the sidewall, unsuccessful, but great read from Nader off the sidewall. And I like this from Bravado, just really taking note that Vision Esports likes to use that sidewall to pass back to each other. And catching that and slowing them down definitely has got to be a, a frustration point for Vision. And they got to get a little bit more creative uh, with what they're doing to try and turn this oh into a shot opportunity. Double demo isn't enough. And again, off the backboard, no read that time though. Yeah, demos That's came cool. out from from, Bavac, from from Bravado there. And for Vision, I mean, they were putting on an acrobatics display and still put that one a bit too high. As it's just a one goal game for Vision, maybe the opportunity here as Nush isn't able to connect, and maybe he pulled off it knowing the two defenders were jumping out in front of him. Didn't want to get dunked and cause a counter, and now top right, just a bit wide. A follow-up's there, Demo comes out, Nush puts it home, and Vision able to tie things up. Uh, this is a really, really good one as well, Ops. Catching Nush out, but more importantly, Nush being able to turn around those demos, like you said, we've seen it on both ends of the field. It's a very, very solid way to open up that net. If you aren't able to find your way through, you realistically at some point just got to take everybody off of the field. And nine times out of 10, if you can demo that last defender and even the last two, it is your opportunity to take a minute, 15 on the clock, shot opportunity sent off by Twiz. And great reads from Bravado Gaming to just keep this tied. I think for Vision, this has been a game where things started to level out. Their pace has matched the Bravado pace. And that's why we sit tied up with less than a minute to go. I think for Vision, they're looking to, they're getting their passing game going. They certainly did in their last goal. There's been a couple more attempts that Bravado has been lucky that the passes have been off the mark as they were too slow to react a few times. But now here comes Bravado, flip reset, and denied by Nush. Still tied game here. This could end it. That's a solid save from Nader. 23 on the clock, pressure still coming through. This one finally might be the opportunity to break out, but Ops lurking in that deep third there. Really just giving security division esports to stay in this one. It's been running away from them a little bit at times. 
Double off the backboard could get followed up. Ops again just bailing his team out, really just keeping them in. This last few moments here of this game number three, wanting to send him over to OT if possible. But Bravado, other plans, want that zero second score if possible. Off the backboard, third shot wow. in. And there you have it, the golden goal to steal game three goes to Bravado. And when you leave the backboard open like that, opportunity is going to come towards that offensive team. And for, for Bravado game... When you're headed into a game like this. That is such a painful way to go into a match now where you are on match yes. point. <laughs> and to lose in zero seconds like that. And of course, you know, maybe not a land grand final here, but certainly uh, an important series. And for them, uh, they will need to completely flush the last game out of their heads and get right back to business. Because it wasn't a bad series for Vision. They, they they lost it, of course, but was not a bad series for Vision. And you got to look towards the positives of your previous game. They were able to generate a lot of offense. They had Bravado on the back foot for, I would say, more than Bravado had them on the back foot in that game. It just slipped away. Yeah, definitely. I, I feel like that is the best way to describe how that went on. It just kind of slipped away at last moments. It was definitely... Uh, a little bit of a tug of war at times, but like you said, there were moments where Vision really just still had control, but you're coming off of a high, you're coming off of a zero second goal. Your confidence is off the roof right now. You saw Nader's initial shot. That's an insane one to even just be opening up with, right? You're kind of just letting Vision Esports know that you're walking into this next match extremely confident, prepared to take as many shots as you want. Great read there from Ops over to the corner, but Vision Esports, Back on defense, back having to prepare, and not even a double commit to try and throw yourselves at that ball is enough to stop Toys. Again, off the backboard. You leave the backboard yep. open. Bad things are going to happen for you defensively. And, of course, a great pass from the backboard as well. With such pace, it's tough if someone's not already up there to make a play on it. But you got to get the read. Vision Esports, you got to know offenses are going to use that backboard, and that's twice in a row that they've been punished. Yeah, the, the one thing I've been noticing is Vision Esports when they, they rotate, you know, back towards net, it's usually on the ground. And at some point, I feel like they will make that correction to, you know, kind of go. But for now, oh, I just, I feel for the defense. This is just, this not only it's an ankle breaker, uh, breaker but this is just one that's got to frustrate you. Yeah, and what a challenge from Nader to keep that one in play. The way he approached the challenge was to the right, so that if he won it, or if he stalemates it, it, it trickles off to the left towards his teammate Twiz, and you can see what happens when the ball lands in his lap. He's able to put, put away a great little fake goal, fake shot towards net. And for Bravado, again, opening up a two-goal lead, comfortable here so far. 3.24 on the clock. 2-0 lead, Vision Esports, they've been here before and come back. But it's a little bit more difficult this time. They haven't quite been able to match. Again, that pace of play that Bravado is kind of at right now, which is, is bordering a flow state. They've just been so comfortable in their rotations and their follow-ups to each other. This is a little bit of a slower shot to kill it down, but Twiz, great follow-up. A, a player, honestly, that I, I didn't quite know who I wanted to have my eyes on. I know that you pointed me in the, in the direction of Nader, but I am, I've got to give it to Twiz. Twiz has been involved on so many of these very crucial plays and setups. I mean, there's another one uh, to, to really just lead bravado in the, the stomping of Vision Esports. Yeah, I mean, Twiz, you know, comes off with a, a lot of experience as well coming in this. He's played on a world championship before with Veloce, so we've seen him uh, before uh, as well. And he's got some, he's been on uh, a sub for teams, uh, some top teams in Mina before as well. So for a, a guy like this, he's got experience and he's been showing it off. That one goes wide for the Bravado side. And for, for Bravado, they're sitting at the point now where with two minutes left, you feel like on match point or putting vision on match point, you can just kind of ride out this game, but maybe not for long. Top left slot from Ops and hold on a second. Two minutes on the clock and vision stripes one to the back of the net. I like this one off the ceiling, but really Nush slowing it down. So it becomes this very, very calculated shot that comes towards the Bravado net. Great play overall. They're back into this one. Now only trailing by one with two minutes left to go is extremely winnable. Nader trying to take that away. Backboards open 
and like we've said every single time you give them the backboard, chances are that ball is going to find its way through. It's the mini double off the back. Just, it's unsavable at that point. Ops just wasn't in a position. He, he's in a position to make it, right? But you don't know where it's going to get placed. You, you can't, you can't spot it. You can't really quite guess it at that point. And now, once again, two goal lead for Bravado. And it's just a redundancy in the defense for Vision. Uh, another goal, as you mentioned, goes off the backboard and the follow up from Ops, or rather the next defender, has rotated deep inside of the net. There's just nothing for Vision to make a play on that one after the first man was beat. And for Bravado now, again, a two goal lead is back open for them and time is ticking down. Vision have got to go. They've got to put something together. Less than 90 seconds on this one. One of the better opportunities goes away, and that one just do, in fact, a low boost on this. Nush trying to take a shot. Vampers just keeping it out. It Again, it's very, very routine for Bravado at this point. The, the shots coming in from Vision Esports a little bit slow, easy to, to read. And then you see now Bravado sending one person up forward to lurk. And really, you don't even, you don't have to at that point. But the fact that they are still going in full force, keeping that one person up, prepared to just turn these counters into something completely lethal, I, I respect it from Bravado. You got 40 left on the clock in this one in Vision. You're just scrambling to, to really just keep up. Certainly. It goes kind of back to game number one is really what it feels like. Game one, Bravado were all over Vision, held the midfield, held the uh, their offensive third and controlled, obviously, Vision's defensive third. And... I think it's very similar here in this game. Though Vision has certainly had opportunity, it certainly hasn't come in the same way that Vision, or excuse me, that Bravado has had, as now they're trying to set something up here as Twiz gets the pre jump, the pass to the back wall, and the follow up is not there in time. But in the end, Bravado coming out on top 3 1 fashion over Vision.